Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Kerala Kam CBSE School Mudur online classes. In previous class, we discussed about decimal numbers and different positions of the decimals, decimal numbers. For example, we discussed that the given number 253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.253.
here also it is 5 and here also it is 5. So, these numbers are same on the left part of the decimal point. So, we compare the digits on the right of the decimal point starting from the tenth place. So, here after this we have to compare right part of the decimal point means here these two numbers and these two numbers. Listen carefully. What we should do? After this, if these numbers are same, then what we should do? We should compare right part of the decimal point. What are the right parts here? 5, 0 and 7, 5. And starting with 1 by 10th position. 10th position means this is the 1 by 10th position and this is the 1 by 10th position. So here in right part of the decimal point where we should start, start from 10th position means here 5 and 7. Okay. So now starting from the 10th place we find that 5 is less than 7. Here you can check first we will compare 10th position. Here this is the 10th position and this 0 and 5 are there at the 100th position. So first we will compare right part of the digits from 10th position. Here 5 is there and here it is 7. So we know that this 5 is less than 7. This 5 is less than 7. So we say 15.50 here this 15.50 is less than 15.75 Thus Salma has more money 15.75 who, who has this much money? Salma Therefore we should write Salma has more money. Okay. So now listen carefully again. In previous class we discussed different positions of the decimal numbers and how to expand decimal numbers. Today we are discussing how to compare decimal numbers. How to compare these numbers? Here they have given one example. John has this much money and Salma has this much money. And we have to tell who has more money. So how to compare these numbers? First, in first step what we should do? We should compare left part of the decimal point. Left part of the decimal point means these two numbers 15 and here left part of the decimal point. Where we should start? From the leftmost number, from the leftmost number means the number which we are starting. Here also one, here also one. And after this, if these two numbers are same, then we should check with next numbers. These, here also this is 5 and here also this is 5. So, what we got to know here? Left part of the decimal, number, decimal point have the same values or same numbers. So, we, know, we need to check with next right part of the decimal point. Here 5 0 is there, here 7 5 is there. So, we, know, we need to check with right part of the decimal point. So, here we have to start from 10th position. This is 10th position and next is 100th position. Here also this is 10th position. So, after decimal points, the first position is 10th position. After that, 100th position. Next one is 1000th position. So, here we need to check with 10th position first means here we will compare this 5 and 7. We are comparing 5 and 7. So, now here we got to know that this 5 is less than 7. Therefore, we can say that this 15.50 is less than 15.75 because this 5 is less than 7. Again for example consider suppose here also 5 is there then 
you need to check with 100th position means you, you have to compare with these two numbers 0 and 5 but here this 5 is less than 7 therefore 15.50 is less than 15.75 and here who has 15.75 is Salma therefore Salma has more money ok so now I will discuss some more examples so now we have given some more examples or some more problems to check or to compare decimal numbers. So here they are given 35.63 and 35.67. Thirty five point six three and thirty five point six seven. So, what is the first step here? We need to check with left part of the decimal point. So, here also, here also three is there, here also it is three, next digit is five, and here also it is five. So, here at the left part of the decimal point, numbers are same. Okay, so now we will compare right part of the decimal points means these two numbers so here we will start with the tenth position so here at the tenth position 6 is there and here also at the tenth position 6 is there both the numbers are same now we will move to the hundredth position here 3 is there and here it is 7 is there so now what we got to know is 3 is less than 3 is less than 7 Therefore, we can write here 35.63 is less than 35.67. Okay? You can check here. At the 100th position, here it is 3 and here it is 7. Therefore, 3 is less than 7 means this number 35.63 is less than 35.67. Next, again they have given another example 20.1 20.1 and 20.01 20.01 so now we can compare again first what we should do, do? We should compare left part of the decimal point. We will start with the leftmost number. Here also it is 2 and here also it is 2. And here it is 0 and here it is 0. So now we got to know that these two numbers are same at the left part of the decimal point. So now we will compare right part of the decimal point. Right part of the decimal point beginning from 10th position. Here at the 10th position 1 is there. But here at the 10th position means after decimal point 0 is there. So now what you can write is 1 is greater than 0. Therefore, I will write here 20.1 is greater than 20.01. Why? Here. We will compare the tenth position after decimal point. Here 1 is there, but here 0 is there. So 1 is greater than 0. Means 20.1 is greater than 20.01. So now again they have given another example. 19.36. 19.36 and another number is 29.36. 29.36 So here you can see don't get confused here also at the right hand part here also it is 36 and here also it is 363 is there but what is the rules we should compare first left part of the decimal point means first you should compare these two numbers left part of the decimal point so here First we will compare leftmost number of the left part of the decimal point means 
first you should compare these two numbers so here one is there but here it is two therefore in first step only what we got to know this one is less than two therefore what we can write here this 19.36 is less than 29.36 this is how to compare two decimal numbers so now i will discuss how to convert decimal numbers means how to convert the number given in paisa to rupees and grams to kilograms and centimeters to meters so here before discussing those examples you should know some basic things like 1 rupee equals to 1 rupee equals to 100 paise 100 paise next like this only 1 kg equals to 1000 gram next after this again 1 meter is equals to 100 cm you should remember all these things to convert rupee to paisa or paisa to rupee and kg to grams and gram grams to kg and meter to Cent, uh, centimeters. Always one rupee equals to hundred paise, and always this one kg equals to thousand grams. Next, one meter equals to hundred centimeters. So now by using these points, we will see some examples. Here they are given some examples. They are converted three paise into rupees format. So here, example they are given three paise equals two. We are converting this three paise into rupees format. So how to convert this three by? We know that hundred paise equals to one rupee. Therefore, three by hundred means. What will we get? We will convert this paise to rupees because hundred paise equals to one rupee. Therefore, three paise is equal to three by hundred rupees. So here, how to convert? So here, they are given one by hundred. Here we can consider this as one by hundred means hundred position. We should write three. Therefore, zero point zero. This is one by tens position. After decimal point, one by tens position is there. Next one, one by hundred position. We should write three. Therefore, after one by tens position, what is the position? One by hundred. Therefore, zero point zero six rupees. Or rupees. Here I will write zero point zero three rupees. See here carefully what they have given. They are converting this three paise to rupees format. So how to convert that? We know that one rupee is equal to hundred paise. Okay. So here what we did three by hundred because one rupee is equal to hundred paise. Therefore three by hundred. And we should write this three by hundred into this decimal number format. How to write this? One by hundred position we should write. Three. So first I will write zero and next decimal point. And first what will come after decimal point? What is the position? One by tens position. But here we have one by hundred position. Therefore, in one by tens position we will write zero. And next position is one by hundred position. So here at the one by hundred position, what we will write? Three. So three paisa equals to zero point zero three rupee. This is how to convert. Next, we are given another example here. Five grams. We are given 
5 grams and here we know that 1000 grams equals to 1 kg and here we are converting grams to kg means what we should write here 5 by here 1000 grams means 1 kg means 5 by 1000 by converting this gram to kg so now what we should do here here 5 by 1000 means here we should write this 5 at the 1 by 1000 position here first we will write 0 point first position is 1 by 10 position so here I will write 0 next position is 1 by 100 position therefore again we will write 0 and at the 1 by 1000 position what we should write this 5 so next position is 1 by 1000 position here I will write 5 so here 5 gram equals to 0 .00, 0 0.005 kg. So here you can see 5 gram means we are converting to kg. We know that 1000 grams to 1 kg therefore 5 by 1000 we have written here. Means what we should do here? Here I have to write this 5 at the 1 by 1000th position. So equals to 0 point after decimal point the next position is 1 by 10th position. Therefore here we should write 0. After this what is the position? 1 by 100. So here we should write 0 again. Where, where we have to write this 5? 1 by 1000th position. This is the next position 1 by 1000. So here I have written 5. So 5 gram equals to 0 0.005 kg. So now they have given another example. They are converting centimeter to meter. So 7 centimeters they have given here. 7 centimeters and we are converting this centimeter to meter. Here we know that 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter therefore what we have to write here 7 by 100 because 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter therefore 7 centimeter equals to 7 by 100 meter therefore this is equals to how to write this in decimal format we have to write this 7 in 1 by 100 position 1 by 100 position so first I will write 0 point Next position is 1 by 10th position, therefore what I will write here 0. Next position is 1 by 100th position, so I will write there 7 and this is meter. You can see here, I have to write this 7 at the 100th position. Why? We know that 7 centimeter, sorry, 100 centimeter equals to 1 meter. We are converting this 7 centimeter to meter means I will write 7 by 100. So, how to write this? I have to write this 7 in 1 by 100th position. Therefore, first I will write 0 point. After decimal point, what is the position? 1 by 10. So, here I will write 0. Next, 1 by 10th position, what is the position? 1 by 100. So, 1 by 100th position, I have written here 7. So, 7 centimeter equals to 0 0.07 meter. So I hope you are clear with this concept means how to compare two decimal numbers and how to convert decimal numbers. So in next class I will discuss some examples on how to add decimal numbers and how to subtract decimal numbers. After that I will start discussion about exercise 2.5. Thank you all.